Hi everyone, it's Helen Godden here and I wanted to take this opportunity to chat to you today about my Panda Pencils. What are they for? How do you use them? How do you sharpen them? And the question everyone wants to know, what on earth is that little string for? I'm going to show you all about my Panda Pencils right here, right now. So this is a Panda Pencil. Panda Pencil, so hello, hello, Panda Pencil. Why do I love thee so much? <laughs> Basically, my Panda Pencil is a white marker. So when I'm working on black fabric, my lines show up beautifully for whether I'm doing applique placement, quilting designs, if you're doing hand embroidery or even sashiko. The beautiful thing about this is this will not rub off accidentally if we overhandle the fabric these marks will stay there until i iron them away and when i iron them they are completely gone okay there is no residue there's nothing left behind so that is why i love these pencils so much now how do you sharpen these you can use a pencil sharpener and put the tip in the fine part there and just gently rotate that so that you're sharpening that little point and getting a finer point for doing much finer work, okay? But when it comes to um, exposing more of the white, as this wears down, we lose, lose the white and that's what does the work. So then we have this little string because the body of this pencil is actually made of paper. This is recycled paper uh, as opposed to being a wooden body. So as this wears down, we need to expose more of the pencil. I grab the little string and pull it down by about a quarter of an inch. And I put my nail in there. And it makes a lovely pink streamer. Look at that. Now this is going to look crazy long because it wasn't actually worn down. But you can see how that is now exposed more of the white. Okay, now the other thing is being a um, pencil that's wrapped in paper rather than being made in wood, it can break easily. So now I have this awesome new packaging for my pencils. It comes in this lovely tube that's quite strong with the little ends and you can use that to store your Panda Pencil in, but it means when it comes to you in the mail, they're not going to be broken at all. So, um, so they're going to be packaged really nicely and I post them to you all over the world. So. You might even find some extra uses for your Panda Pencil, but I love them. They really have been a godsend for me with my black fabric and the dark fabrics I like to work with. So you can find those on HelenGodden.com. Um, they're two for $10 and they'll come to you in their little packaging ready to use. And just don't forget what that little string's for, okay? There you go. No Panda was harmed in the making of this pencil. Brought to you by HelenGodden.com. <laughs>